This is the Honda DAX, and this is its stock clutch cover. It's pretty cool, but unfortunately you can't see anything when the cover is on, and there aren't any aftermarket parts available online that make it transparent, so it looks like we're going to have to make our own. In my previous video, I used resin 3D printing and 3D scanning to create a clear tank cover for the Kawasaki AR50. There won't be any 3D scanning in this video, but instead we'll be using Fusion 360 to create a model of the part so that we can eventually customize it and print it later on. But for now, the goal is to design a part that fits and is relatively flat so that it's easy to post-process for the best results. To begin, I've grabbed the clutch cover from the bike. I could take some photos and import them into Fusion for modeling, but this time I'll take some measurements with my calipers and start modeling from scratch. These are the measurements I got and they look good enough, so I'll fire up Fusion and make the first sketch. Okay, so this is what I've got so far. In the final design, we'll chop this top bed off so that it's completely flat and easy to sand for post-processing, and uh, hopefully we'll get a really good result. So I'll continue working on that now. So if we look now at the final design, it's completely flat. That's enough talking about the design, so let's go print a prototype on the Ender 3. Upon first removal of the part from the printer, we can see that it looks pretty good aside from some residue. Holding it up to the stock clutch cover, it looks like it'll fit, so let's install it onto the bike and see if it does. Looks pretty good, so let's print out the final copy in clear resin on the Unicubic Photon Mono. In terms of post-processing, I gave the part a quick bath in IPA and then sanded and wet sanded it before adding some clear coat lacquer like I did to the previous transparent part. I then headed over to Brent's to give the part its final installation. I am incredibly pleased with how this part turned out, and if you are too, maybe consider leaving a like on the video and perhaps subscribing if you're not already. Once again, thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you again soon.